After that, they take a stop at the toughest bar in the world that is literally titled The Toughest Bar in the World. Who wrote this? Look out! Pop is created by Jim Henson's mentally retarded brother! Yeah. Hey, Wendy. Watch out, Hold that! Hold that! Little sucker's got guts! Drinks for everybody! What kind of bar would operate like that? Hey, that kid just killed my wife, ate my dog, and crucified my mother! He's got guts. Drinks for everybody! So I know what you're thinking. These kids are just so charming and irresistible. Surely there must be more of them out there somewhere. Well, where are your friends now? We think they might be locked up somewhere. In a really terrible place. In the stay home for the ugly. Stay home for the ugly. I can't believe people would make a place like wait, that. Wait, wait. Stay home for the ugly? You're kidding, right? I didn't want to believe that such a place could actually exist. Do you believe it now? Oh, now, yes. You cannot be serious! Yes, apparently there's a state home for the ugly, where men literally walk around with nets and capture ugly people the same way dog catchers capture puppies for the pound. You shouldn't wear a mask unless it's Halloween, kid. No hard feelings, eh, kid? What? World? Reality? Drugs? Where would you even get funding for that? I mean, you're telling me there's an actual state home for the ugly, and yet Joan Rivers, Michael Moore, and Carrot Top are allowed to roam free? What kind of sick, crazy world is this? Does this mean we're gonna find the place? Settle up, partner. We're gonna find the home for the ugly. Oh. All right. So, yeah, where the hell did this plot thread come from? Who the fuck cares? Let's just follow it and see how much damage it causes. Okay, so they find the state home for the ugly, where they plan to break in one night and get all the ugly people out. But it has to wait, as the other plot thread about the designer clothes is taking place as well. How do we go from a movie with no plot line to a movie with too many plot lines? You gonna make a lot more of those things for me? I got big plans for us. Us? Dude, is she nibbling his ear? You can go to jail for that! Hi, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be sure to tell all my other pedophile friends how cool you are. But it turns out Tangerine's heart still belongs to Juice. Good god, tangerine juice. This isn't a cast of characters, it's a fucking grocery list. It feels lousy, abandoning my principles for money. Principles? Yeah, letting the little creep live. What is up with this guy? Did Dodger kill his father or something? I mean, what's up with the hate? I suppose I should be dealing some drugs or robbing some liquor stores. But nah, a 12-year-old with a fashion scheme, that's where the real money is. Uh, wait a minute. I think they're gonna do another pissing pants joke again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, 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 why? So that Tangerine can take credit for making all the clothes that they made, and she displays it in her very own fashion show. Uh, you know, you still need the kids to make future clothes, right? Where are they? Where? I'm acting! <laughs> so the bullies take Dodger out back and throw him into a dumpster to keep him out of trouble. But little did they know that clever old Dodger could get out of the dumpster! Meanwhile, at the state home for the ugly, they keep the kids locked away with all of history's hideous treasures, like Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, and Santa Claus. Did they ever read this out loud? They're crying. You want us to shut them up? They'll be gone soon. Gone where? <laughs> so not only do they imprison ugly people, but they also kill them? Look. I know the Reagan years weren't always perfect, but somehow I just can't see him signing off on an establishment like this. Ugly people need to be destroyed. But luckily Dodger and Captain Manzini come in to save the day. I'm so glad I can free you from this prison just so I can entrap you again in an even smaller garbage pail. Hooray! There's even a scene where a bunch of their biker friends use their Harleys to rip the bars off the window. Why? They took out all the guards, why don't they just go through the front door? Use your thoughts, writers! Use your thoughts! 
So they all make it to Tangerine's fashion show where they plan to show that thief a thing or two. Oh, great, so what are they going to do? Like, throw paint on the clothes, cut the dresses into ribbons, or strip them off the models exposing their almost totally naked bodies? Is this movie for kids or what? So we then get an exciting climax, which consists of a lot of farting, sneezing, and even vomiting. Wow, could this be any more enchanting? <laughs> Then get the final showdown between Juice and Little Dodger. Dude, you're beating up a 12-year-old? What an asshole! <laughs> you're getting beat up by a 12-year-old? What an asshole. But Manzini comes in to calm Little Dodger down. I wish my parents were written into this movie. They would know how to comfort me. So after the fashion show is destroyed, Tangerine tries to make amends with Dodger. But somehow being lied to, abused, molested, and beat up both physically and mentally doesn't quite do it for Dodger anymore. No thanks. I don't think you're pretty anymore. Wow, I got burned by a fifth grader. I think I've had a new low. So Manzini tries to sing the kids back into the pail with a spell he's written, but ultimately backfires, as those lovable rapscallions ride into the night looking for more media art forms to destroy. What a fucking load. This is it. The worst. The absolute worst. No story, no character, no plot. Just pain. Pure, concentrated pain. There has never been anything this bad in the history of badness. It should be studied. It should be analyzed. It is beautiful. I don't know whether to give it to a scientist to examine or a priest to exercise. I mean, it is remarkable. It is absolutely remarkable. Even the closing credits are hurting me. Everything about this movie is just plain horrendous. In fact, I don't even know why I'm still watching. I should turn it off before anything else. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so bad it's actually splitting the fabric of space and time! so horrible that it actually ages you even as you watch yourself. Wow, the movie's that bad? Yes. Now piss off. <coughs> I'm trying to eat my processed cereal. <coughs> Will you shut up? I'm trying to die over here for crying out loud. Uh, well, I'm done for. But at least I never have to see that shitload of ass movie again. <laughs> God, it's turned me into what the movie always was. A dirty piece of crap. Oh.